You know, one of the things I enjoy the most in Minecraft is building a base. And I'm not just talking about like placing down blocks and getting it to look pretty. I'm also talking about infrastructure. I mean, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love going from zero to hero in Minecraft by building farms, smelteries, redstone contraptions and getting villagers. Yeah, vill villagers is a big part of it. They are, they are possibly the most annoying creature in Minecraft. That is if Bumble Baggins doesn't count. And when you have a lot of them, they are seriously loud as well. I mean, I got friendly creatures at 10%. L listen to this. <laughs> this is... This is just unbearable. Anyway, the point is, I'm really enjoying the start of this season, building everything up from scratch and coming up with new and clever ways of doing stuff. Now, I know that we spent majority of the last episode working on villagers, so we're not going to do that today. There is, however, one more thing that we didn't do, and as you can see over here, I have been busy. I know they look very similar, but this is actually not Rodriguez. This is his, his, his less fortunate brother. I say less fortunate because, I mean, the man is using an arrow instead of a sword. Arrows does not deal more damage when hitting a villager, Mr. Dude. It looks like he's nodding as a yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. It really does. It does a lot of damage. Anyway, I have got this guy all the way down from the top, and I've built up this contraption once again. And this is the contraption that is going to turn the villagers into zombies that we can then cure so that we can get better prices. I haven't yet tested this out. There are a few more things that I want to add to this. Today, the first thing is... I want to take care of the fact that this guy is really, really ugly. I hereby make you way cooler. <laughs> yes, that's brilliant. Why is it so big? It is so massive. <laughs> Parrot man. There. There we go. Yes. Parrot man has been born. <laughs> I made a sharpness 4 axe, hoping that he will accept this over the arrow. I'm not sure though. This guy doesn't seem to be the brightest. Are you gonna are you gonna let go of that arrow? You're an idiot, sir. And um, I'll have my axe back. Thank you very much. Right, let's try this then. A diamond sword. Just take my diamonds, will you? Okay. Thank goodness. What is so special about this arrow? Right, so now that he's got a sword, I think I'm ready to test this. In theory, when I press this button, a villager should be picked up, sent up there, pushed to the side, and land on this rail. Hopefully everything works. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that is a disaster. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. Because everything is sort of crammed in. I, ca I can't move. I can't move this contraption. <laughs> Oh no. I wonder if I can pick them up from the second layer. That would certainly solve a lot of things because then babies wouldn't be picked up either. Let's try it out. Yes, that actually worked. Oh, and that, 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 that failed. That's, that's not what's supposed to happen. Hopefully I can get him back on the rail by doing that. Yes, when in doubt, use pistons. Now that he's in place, Parapman should attack him. And we've already established that Parapman is not the brightest. <laughs> but seriously, why is he not attacking him? He's standing right next to you, dude. Oh, he finally did it! He finally did it! I think what I need to do here to perfect this is possibly block his vision and pathfinding for other things. I mean, in Parrot Man's head, he doesn't even realize that he can get over that rail, so he is, is really dumb. But if I do that, I think that's going to help out. Anyway, now that he's infested, we can go ahead and throw the weakness at him. And give him the golden apple and this process takes about about five minutes i think it's actually a very very long process but in theory when he is done shaking he should fall through that half slab and land right here and i suppose i didn't think about this i suppose i need i need some sort of block here because i what i've made here is a dispenser with a water bucket to push the villager to the side and up this uh thing here this is actually a double piston extender see if i can show it without oh without that happening uh. How am I gonna get out? I'm stuck, because if I hit that pressure plate... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this leads all the way down to where they get scared from the pillager. Oh, that was awful. Right, so I've hooked it up so that that piston there is controlled with this button, which also controls the dispenser, which is essentially going to push the villager into that double piston extender over there. And the guy has switched. The guy has switched, so we are now ready. We're now ready to see what kind of villager we want this guy to be. Fletcher. Yep, Fletcher is what this man is going to be. So now what we're going to do is get that trade there. That was, <laughs> that was very, very lucky. 
that locks him in place. And that's all the trading we would need to do in this place. I hope I've thought about everything. Yeah, the water gets extended. Oh, don't stand on the piston. Okay, yes, that was that was good. So now, if everything worked with that piston, he is pushed into the water here, and I should just be able to do that. And he should he should plop out over there. Oh, here he comes. Yes. They aim a little bit wrong, but that's okay. I can always move this. That is that is a great success. Parrotman, you have done a fantastic job. And this contraption is clearly working. It's clearly working. I do need to do a little bit more quirks here. But all in all, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> that's not clever, is it? <laughs> Gee, that that looks that looks really that looks really really painful. I have no idea how you, how you got there. <laughs> look at look at this. My base my base has been absolutely filled with yeses. Now I gotta say that's a very impressive way of saying yes. And the funny thing is is that I I've been stuck in this room doing. Doing everything with Parrotman and that sort of stuff. He has to have snuck through within like the past 20 minutes without me noticing. And put this up. I knew the bouncy castle would work. Mambo, we partners now. We should meet up and discuss terms. Well, he still hasn't answered and he seems to have gone AFK. However, I've just had a thought. Are these letters built using iron blocks i mean it's either that or like white concrete i don't think white terracotta looks this way i feel like i feel like i almost have to go i have to go on a little bit of a treasure hunt i mean i don't even think it's that far away this is definitely this is definitely a jungle biome that <laughs> that's probably it's probably the jungle temple right there i'm ashamed to say this but even with a map it is a little bit tricky to navigate in a jungle but it looks like it looks like we are not that far away. There's the jungle temple. That all adds up. I think it's going to be right around this corner. Oh, I think I see it. He's built it up in the sky. <laughs> Look at that. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. There is so much iron here. I have no idea how many stacks of iron this is. And I'm, I'm quite tempted, to be honest. Quite tempted to mine this out. But I'm, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off on that because we, we we are partners now, and I think I think it's probably best that we first discuss the terms. Luckily, shortly after seeing that sign, Mumbo sent me a message and asked me to come see him at his base. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo. We are partners. Yes. We yeah. and I. Th I figured I'd come over here because we need to discuss the terms. I did see your sign. Right. And I kind of treated it like a treasure hunt. I hope that was okay. I didn't mind it yet, but I'm totally, I'm totally planning to. Yeah, you. I, I kind of, I kind of expected you to mine it. Well, that was great news. So I got ready to leave, but then. Iska, how do you get good? Get good. What an odd question. Well, well, first you have to have, you have to have a base. So a check. check, sort of. Yeah. Gotta have a storage yeah. system. Definitely a yeah. big, big sort of. Yeah. Big question it's mark on that one. Big question yeah. mark on that one. We're getting there, getting there. Let's see, you, you have to have enchanting. You have enchanting. A nether yeah, portal. Yeah. That's all good. You yeah. have to have some redstone stuff, which I saw down here. Although, yeah. <laughs> although I gotta, I gotta say, if you're talking uh, good from the server performance point of view. <laughs> this... not, my, my melons have filled up. All right, okay. I'll, I'll sort that in a second. You definitely need villagers. Villagers got are them. big important. You got check, villagers. Check, check, check. Do you have a trading hall? You need a Check. trading hall. Okay. So you, you're pretty good. I would say the, the only thing that I don't have that is kind of completing Minecraft, I guess, is Elytra. Oh, and you know what? Actually, no. You need Schalke boxes to be good because otherwise th this happens. Now, in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have said those last things because Mambo obviously suggested that the two of us would head out on a quest. A quest to burn the ring, I, I, I mean, a quest to the end. So, after a bunch of preparing, we, we, we were ready to leave. Is that your choice of food? Yes. <laughs> okay, almost ready to leave. Luckily, my villagers sorted him out. And, well, well now, now we're really ready to leave. Do you have how blocks? How much durability do, <laughs> do oh, you no, have no, blocks? I don't have any blocks? No, do I, um, <sighs> how much durability do I need on my pickaxe as well? Do I need a lot? It feels like you have a long way left to becoming good. You don't even know where I am again, do you? <laughs> no, you... you're where are you? 
Ah. Yeah. <laughs> How do I get into this thing? Oh, it's glass. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. <laughs> As I was saying, we were ready to leave. Big moment. <laughs> no, no, gonna just shoot missed. me. <laughs> I just missed. I can't help but feel like we haven't brought enough blocks with us. How many did you bring? Two rows. Two rows? I've got yeah. two rows of arrows, but I need like half a row of blocks. Oh no, that's... Is that my smooth stone that you brought? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> of course. Wait, did you smell all of this? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had some, I thought you had some touch, dude. <laughs> Okay, okay, I feel like I should explain that since we didn't have an elytra and since we didn't want to kill the dragon, we were scared, okay? We had to bridge around covering gaps of hundreds of blocks over the void. And when I say we, I mean me. M Mumbo didn't place a single block. This is our first end city, dude. The good news is that there is a ship. The bad news is that <laughs> it seems to be a ship on a pillar. But the fact that the end city was already raided wasn't the worst news. No, we, we, we had hit the southern world border 3,000 blocks out. Oh, it ends, doesn't it? Why do we do that? I don't, I don't know. So we had to run all the way back and start over. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not looking where we're yep. going? <laughs> yep, I know, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> just, just trust me, okay? <laughs> I don't know if I... <laughs> I guess we should probably just stick to land for as much as possible. I feel like these things didn't need to be said, but after that display. <laughs> <laughs> now at this point, we had spent hours bridging around, but we hadn't found a single non-raided end city. All we had was two Schalker shells from the first place. Dude, this is taking days. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, my, my pinky is hurting from, from shifting. <laughs> I, I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think that it, it would probably have been better to just buy the elytra at the shopping district at this point in time. Okay, I know, I know this is kind of on me because I can sometimes struggle to keep up with what others occasionally do on the server. <laughs> that is a classic mumble thing, yes. <laughs> There's a shop. There's a shop for this stuff, is there? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I may have forgot to mention that. Are you, are you, are you saying what I'm thinking? You are? I'm definitely saying what you think I'm saying. I'm saying that we should get an elite. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dude, I meant to throw this, the sugar boxes at you in anger. I didn't this, mean this, to throw them off the edge. I can't believe he actually threw those out. But now we had nothing, so we, we decided to go back and, and visit the elytra shop. Limit two elytra per player. Yep. Each elytra 25 diamonds. Let's buy the elytra. No! Okay. Why did I say Litra? <laughs> oh, yes! No, I've that's won. so bad. I've that's won. so bad. We don't have any rockets, dude. What do we do now? Yeah, well, that's the point. <laughs> Creeper farm, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> your, just your eyeballs <laughs> came into the bottom half of my screen. <laughs> I'm guessing there's no gunpowder in here. Logs. It might be like a cat farm. Why is that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> but that was the funniest. All right, so rockets was definitely going to be a problem, but we had managed to craft up three stacks altogether, so the time had come to try and rectify our first three hours of failure. How has this even come about? <laughs> like, seriously? Seriously? Dude, oh, no! Dude! Oh, no! <laughs> Right on my eye level. I've never panicked so much in my life. Maybe not the best start. Oh, I found one. I found an entity. Mumbo. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Do you Ninja mind? Skills. Do you mind? No! No, you got to be kidding me. What is happening to me? you got the me? stuff anyway. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Did they fall down to the bottom? Yes. Totally. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait See a ya. minute. I <laughs> How many Shulker shells do you have now? None. Ah. <laughs> Everything is as it should be. We both have elytras. <laughs> yeah. We're both end busting. And and you have and you have zero Shulker shells. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. It was almost as it's always been. <gasps> you died! Oh no, you died! Have you got my stuff? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. No, I don't have any space, dude. <laughs> Poor Mambo, but there we go. Now it's exactly like it's always been. Anyway, I did collect up Mambo's stuff and I met him back by the portal. Oh goodness me, oh, this no. is not good for my health. Oh no. This is not good oh, for no. my health. Do not have to be killed <laughs> no. by a silverfish, dude. Do not have me killed by a silverfish. Do not have to be killed I'm by a silverfish. I'm trying to save you. Not, a, not like this. I'm trying to save you, man. You kill me. That wasn't on purpose, to be fair. Well, what? I tried to protect you, dude. I'm trying to protect oh. you. <laughs> Look at the mess this is now. Oh. Everything is just going bad for us today. Oh, yeah. now you're rubbing it in. Yep. Uh. And? Ah! <laughs> I can't accept my items back from someone that's wearing my head. This feels all kinds of wrong. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I've stopped understanding. I <laughs> always forget. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them all. I got Not the collection. <laughs> so here's the thing. We got 30 shells, which is 15 Schalke boxes. Yeah, yeah. But I thought yep. I thought you can't you can't split 15 in two. So I thought uh, we'd we'd split the shells. That way, that way it'll be fair. And there's there will be one useless shell in there. But at least I didn't throw them over the void. But you saved my you saved my life. Oh. Okay. Well, no, you didn't save my life actually. No, you let me die. But then you picked up the pieces. I really don't know. I, I really don't know what to call this end bust. It's probably been one of the most unsuccessful um, end busts that me and Mambo has ever done. And also, I noticed that this used to be a spruce door. <laughs> it's now... It's now trapdoors. I didn't even... I didn't even see that. I, I mean, I will say it looks better. It looks better with the trapdoors. So I guess... I guess a big thank you to the door thief is in order. Nice. Well, this is a big moment for me speaking about infrastructure. Oh my goodness. Right, so let's go ahead and also dye these two rich teas. Redstone. All right, so all of these things can go in here. And it's quite, it's quite empty at the moment, to be honest. What a fantastic feeling this is. Have you seen my extra elytra, John? I can't believe this. I know that I have... One more elytra. So I bought I bought one elytra, but I do have one more somewhere that I that I managed to find right at the end, and it's completely gone. Where have I put it? Right, I guess I'll find it one day. I really do need to work a little bit in my storage. Actually, maybe it's in my ender chest. It's in my ender chest. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, let's put that in here as well. Now, take a look at this. We are definitely getting places this season. Right, the next thing I want to do is I want to use my new Elytra, Super Wings of Doom, and I want to head over to that sign because... In the agree, even though we didn't discuss terms, me and Mambo, that's quite funny actually. All we said in that entire time about the partnership was that I was allowed to mine the iron blocks. I'm assuming that this partnership will mean more things in the future. Oh, this is such a good feeling. I cannot believe, I cannot believe how small this distance is. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Elytra just changes everything. <laughs> This distance from there to here, I've probably spent about six, seven minutes before to get here all the way around and through the trees. Ah, oh, this. And this is how close my base is? <laughs> everything, everything gets such a different perspective when you can fly. Anyway, I wonder how many iron blocks this is. I wonder if I actually now have enough to make a beacon. I would, I would think that, I would think that this is over three stacks. This is really, really tiring. <laughs> it's really tiring. There are so many iron blocks. I mean, hey, look at this. And to collect them all is also a bit tricky. I may, I may very well have lost some already. But this, this is a ridiculous amount of iron. This iron farm, farm must be so effective. It's, it's quite ridiculous. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is just. <laughs> Oh, next time we do a transaction, let's make it with Schalke boxes and not a giant sign. Even though the giant sign is absolutely awesome. But look at this. There's still ES left. Ease. 
<laughs> okay, anyway, I think, I think I'm going to leave these letters here for a little while longer. I'll come back and collect them when I need them. Because I, I have more than enough iron to make almost two full beacons. Actually, it is two full beacons. I, th I think it's two stacks and 36 for one beacon, if I don't misremember. Yeah, I'd, wow, I am iron rich. This partnership is great. In fact, you know what? I mean, I have three wither skeleton skulls. We've got those already. I think it's time... I think it's time we get ourselves a beacon. Do I have any soul sand? I have one piece of soul sand. Okay, so we do have to get some soul sand, but that's fine. And when it comes to withers, here's the thing. I do not like to fight the withers out in the open. I, I, I get very, very scared. I'm gonna trap it in the end, and for that we're gonna need we're gonna need a little bit of obsidian. I think I think I need four pieces, so that's two. Aha! Right, so I got the obsidian I'm gonna need for this, but there is no soul sand anywhere. I mean, look at this. There is some soul sand right over there, <laughs> but I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get that. Aha! Found some. I am really looking forward to the new nether. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I got the resources I need. Now all I got to do is head over to the end. I don't think I've shown this, but this is the current state of our nether. We have decided to put all the portals on the roof of the nether, which makes it a lot easier, a lot easier to transport ourselves around. And this is, of course, because we're anyway going to reset the nether once 116 comes out. That is not it. I think it's this one here. Yes. And this sign is also completely useless. I mean, look at this place. You get out of the portal here, and then the only way you can go is this way. That being said, it may have been because I changed some walls after I saw the sign. I thought it was funny. Right, so I wonder if anyone has already prepped this. It doesn't look like it. And there's water everywhere, so we're gonna have to do... We're gonna have to make some adjustments here. <laughs> It's just a crafting table sitting inside the endstone. Oh, what is this? I'd turn back if I were you. That's scary. Specifically considering I'm trying to do this from my memory from last season. I, I don't actually know how to do this. The wither isn't that big. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to move this back one and have the three in the very center. Okay, let's try this out. So then the soul sign goes on top and the wither skulls goes here. Oh, I don't know if I got this wrong or right, but hopefully, hopefully it's going to be stuck in there. Lower the volume. Okay, is he stuck? No, no, he's not stuck. I did it wrong. Oh no, I don't even have my chest plate with me. <laughs> oh no, this is disaster. Right. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Please. I can't believe I've done that. I cannot believe I've done that. I hate fighting the wither. It's the worst. And I'm stuck underneath water. I should have read the sign. Oh no, I withered away. I didn't even reach out my health quick enough. <laughs> No, this is, this is bad. Okay, this is really bad. This is bad. It's good that I put everything in my ender chest. What's not so good is that I only had one ender chest. And that's now, that's now in the, in the end. All my other loot underneath water. This is, I may lose everything here. Including <laughs> new elytra. Well, I guess this axe will come in handy now. Okay, so here's the plan. I've got some kind of backup gear. I've got an axe. I've got a really bad bow. But I have to jump in and I have to run in and try and get underneath the water. And then get to all my stuff before the wither has any chance of blowing it up. This is gonna be so scary. Okay, the wither is busy killing endermen. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I don't have depth strider. This water is gonna be really bad for me. This is good, but I didn't bring a shovel. Break this. Break that. Okay, all my stuff, all my stuff, all my stuff. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, all my stuff is recovered. I'm gonna put all of these things into my ender chest this time. And then I guess I have to try and kill him. I guess I actually have to try and kill the wither. <laughs> the legit way. Oh, no. I'm going in. I can't hit him. Okay. Yes. No. No, 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 no. Oh, why does he deal so much damage? This is not good. I made my way back to the portal. He is flying around killing, killing endermen. 
And I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. Because of all this water, it's impossible to get away from him. I've cleared out some of the water and I've made myself a little bit of an escape path underneath this thing with a ladder over there. I'm going to give this one more chance. There's no chance I can fight him in this water. No chance whatsoever. I need to get him over here. And then if this goes sour, I need to be able to jump through the portal and escape. This is so stupid. Hello, Wither? Can you just fly into the void and die, Wither? Oh, okay. 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 What is this strategy that he's using? Oh, he's above me. He's above me. Okay, run back to safety. Run back to safety. Oh my goodness. This is... This is too scary. This is too much for me. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. He cannot blow this up. This is the scariest sight ever. Look at this. This is working. This is working. Okay, so now... Now is the melee time, I think. One more arrow. Oh, no. And then he withered me. Of course he withered me. What is this withering effect? It's half a minute. I don't remember it being this hard to kill a wither. And why is he regening health that quickly? This is an absolute disaster. He's almost at full health again. Hello? Yeah, okay. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. This has already been a very stressful day, okay? I'm not ashamed of leaving that wither behind. However, I, I got a little bit of a plan. I'm gonna go back to the end portal. And we're gonna put up a sign right here. Beware, wither on the loose. Reward one nether star. <laughs> So my hopes is, my hopes is that someone comes and sees this and then decides to take on the wither and do it much better than me. And as a reward, they, they can get the nether star. I'll, I'll, I'll have to get three more skulls when I'm ready for this. This is, this is exactly why I don't like fighting the wither. Everything always goes wrong and he deals so much damage. Anyway, I really do hope that you've enjoyed today's episode because that's gonna do it for today. It's been, it's been a very, very long day, okay? It's been a very, very long day. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to go and lay down, I think. I'm gonna have to go and lay down. But like I said, I really hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. If you did, then do please hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.